Welcome aboard, I'm Jason Navargo. This is Dawn of Man, a Neolithic lifestyle management simulator wherein you command a small tribe of Stone Age people and bring them through the ages. That just sounds like a lot of fun to me, so we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. I already played some of the tutorial. Yeah, I know I haven't completed it, but I got enough knowledge to play. At least, I'm pretty sure. After all, this is all about discovery, right? It's the Dawn of Man. It's the time when everybody hasn't actually you know, found I found out everything there is to know yet. Ooh, what is this? Challenge bygone tales. Three milestones. Ooh. Oh, so these are different little challenge modes. Okay. Creative mode, Stone Age, and Metal Age. Gotcha. Okay, so we have to do Continental Dawn. Grown of all your settlement from the Paleolithic to the Iron Age. About twelve thousand years ago. The last glacial period had just ended. This made most of continental Europe a lot easier to inhabit. Human populations thrived, and the Neolithic Revolution started. Ragnasane, that sounds like a perfectly normal uh, caveman thingamajigger. Or name for our place or whatever. Location, Lake Valley. Ooh, okay. Uh, unlimited, oh. Unlimited save games, game can be paused. Normal, okay, normal, yeah, we're definitely going normal. Forest River, Twisty River, River Fork, Mountain Lake. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Why would you not be near a, an easy source of water? Uh, I like the idea of being out here near this, like, River Delta area. That sounds like a pretty cool place to start out at. Avoid targeting healthy adult animals in the early game. Yeah, I learned that in the tutorial. Uh, there are certain difficulties of animals from... Uh, little deer all the way up to these massive mammoths and we need better technology to actually hunt them so I am going to begin by placing down some work areas which is a really neat mundo see we, we tell them to gather sticks first of all and then we find some sticks on the map and it goes yellow and it tells you where all the sticks are isn't that great that's really cool it helps a lot with micromanagement so we put that banner down there and then we can click on it and you know uh, Let's get two people working on the sticks. And, uh, oh, well, anyway, here's our tribe. I probably should have introduced you guys to them first. You can click on them, they got names. There's Gurek, there's Marek, and there's Gary, and you can see all the little stats down there. And, uh, as you can see, everybody's, everybody seems pretty happy with, uh, where we are. Akka and Marinkal are off to gather, to, uh, gather sticks together, if you know what I'm saying. We'll probably, unless, wait a minute. Okay, it's a man and a woman. I thought that they were both women for a second. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it, it is the current era. It is the current uh, technological age. I'm not gonna judge. Well, I mean, I am, because we have to get more people to keep this tribe going. But uh, we're gonna tell some people to fish. And we only need one dude fishing. And let's see, harvesting wild plants like herbs and junk. Um, hmm, not a whole lot of wildish plantishes. Not a whole lot of wild radishes to pick up. Are there any? Hmm, I thought that was one right there. Those don't count as wild plants? Where are the- Oh! Oh, okay. There's one. So there's one. Any others? Okay. Not a whole lot of wild- Ooh, there's a lot out here, but that's a little bit dangerous to go that far. What about in this area? There's one... To Ah, okay. Good. There's some right next to the village. Can we get all three in there? No, we cannot. Alright, I guess two is good enough. We'll keep one person on that. And not hunt- Ooh! A family of deer is already coming through. You two. Uh, hunt it. Hunt it. Hunt it. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, the, the herd is moving in. Or, okay, good. We got Vorob. Going to prove himself as a man. Oh! Oh, catch it! Don't let it get too far! Man, we need that! Come back! We need to eat you! Oh my gosh, you're terrible at this, Vorob! Vorob, where are you going? Oh. Oh, it's wounded. Its stamina is low. But so is Vorob's. Well, maybe if he didn't go chasing it all over hither and yonder. You know, we're gonna let Vorob go ahead and take care of that. And we'll see if Vorob ever actually comes back. We need to get more, uh, work- Oh, he just got it. First animal hunted, reindeer. Knowledge plus one. Knowledge is the thing you use to advance through the, uh, technology tree. 
And we need to find some flint. Which, uh, okay. It looks like there's only one nearby flint deposit. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, and there's two. Good. Excellent. So we got somebody working on that. And that's all... Oh, stone. Yeah, of course we'll need some stone if we're going to build. Flint is also extremely important. So we'll probably get two people working on flint. I want everybody to have something to do. And in order to use those resources, we need production buildings. So now that we got a dead animal, I'm going to put down a skinning, a tan, or er, uh, not really, a t it's just a drying rack for the skins. It makes sense to put it right near the, um, I think right near the, uh, our, our storage, like right there. And then I'm going to put down another one. No, no. I'll put down another drying rack. Right next to the first one. And now we'll build a crafter so that we can actually start building stuff. Z and C. Oops, I cancelled it. Z and C to rotate. And we'll put you... Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, we already have a crafter. I'm so silly. Okay, well, in that case, what else do we need? Because multiple people can work at a crafters, so... A hearth. I'm pretty sure we already have a hearth as well. Okay, well, I guess we just wait till we gather enough knowledge to get through the tech tree. And if I can remember where that is. Oh, yeah. I should talk about the temperature and the seasons and stuff. Certain resources can only be gathered in certain... Or certain resources can only be gathered in certain seasons. Oh, we got some ancient bison over here. That's neat. Man, learning about ancient mammals, it's, it's really... It's a bit of a hobby of mine, like just like uh, uh, learning about dinosaurs. Well, I shouldn't say it's a hobby. It's just an interest of mine. I, I like doing it. I haven't done it in a while, but I like it when I get the time to. Service tree? What? Cherry tree? Ooh. Are we going to be able to cut these down? Hold up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Forget that. There's nothing in this area. Remove that work area. All we have is chestnut and pears, but it's a plethora of stuff over here. We got cherries, we got pears, we got stuff on the trees, and it's it's a good time. It's a good life. It's a hard life, but it's a good life down back here in the Stone Age. And what else? Uh, what else do we need to do right now? Well, we can speed up time, I suppose. Limits, charts, milestones, hunting and crafting. Accumulate three units of raw meat and three units of berries. Well, that's gonna take a long time since Vorob went off chasing a friggin' reindeer all the way over to the next continent. Man, did you want to wait until it crossed the land bridge or something, Vorob? Sheesh. Maybe we can get two people to hunt this next reindeer. Uh, can we assign two people to hunt? Wait, it looks like everybody's gathering sticks and stuff. Capacity six, no more space for people. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we need to build some houses. Let's uh, put that one right here in between these other ones. And once we actually get some more people, then we can actually get some more hunters. And more people means more resources. Both, wait, what's that? Oh, it's just a boar. I thought it was a person. Or uh, a wolf, rather. I, I, I know that my, my brain works really weird when I'm in a management sim. And I got a lot of things going at once. So sometimes I think, say things that I don't really mean. I don't actually believe in werewolves. That kind of ridiculous superstition can wait for the Bronze Age. Ooh, look at that. A woolly rhino. I always thought that these guys were really cool looking. I like rhinos just as a matter of principle. And I liked uh, woolly rhinos even more. Iron ore way over there. Okay, we're gonna need some more efficient production chains eventually, but... Where's our, uh... Okay, we got a tent built. And now we just gotta wait for, uh, nature to take its course, so to speak. Knowledge... Uh, here's our tech tree. We need one more knowledge. I don't know how we can get quite enough knowledge. 
What new activities do we need to do to actually acquire knowledge? That's probably why I should have, uh... Probably why I should have actually finished the tutorial, huh? Oh well, I'll figure it out as I go along. There's two people in there now. Resting, resting, okay. Well, how do I tell them to not waste their time resting and start using their time to, you know, increase our population? I don't know if I can actually do that. I guess we just gotta wait on it. But in order to encourage that a bit more, let's go ahead and build another tent. And we could probably do with hunting another- You know what we should do? We should hunt another animal. So once you guys are done with that, I'm gonna s uh, okay. I need- I need more than one person. Okay, there you go. You two. I am about to send you on a dangerous expedition. To hunt. Oh, you know what would be helpful if I went into primal vision mode? Zoom! And now we know exactly where all the animals are and which ones are easy. Ooh, we got a little mouflon right over here. So I'm gonna tell two people to hunt that. Our party of Emo and Vorob again. Okay, well, Emo, try to be the one that kills it quickly because Vorob, he's not very good at bleeding these animals. There we go. I'm pretty sure that was actually Emo who got the killing blow. So now we got one more knowledge, which means that we can actually expand into the tech tree. Uh, very... Okay, knowledge. Reach larger populations, build different types of structures, hunt animals, acquire resources, kill, ra kill raiders. Yeah, there are raiders, just like RimWorld, and surviving more years. Let's unlock some techs. We can unlock bone tools required for composite tools, which of course will help us uh, gather things and kill things more efficiently. Required for stone polishing, sling, sling making. Slings are important. Unlock food drying, food dryer, grain processing. Okay, okay. Cereal domestication unlocks Neolithic area. Dog domestication. Dog domestication could be very useful because that makes that gives us pack animals and allows us to unlock husbandry. Move ever deeper into agriculture. Sledge sledge making? Don't they mean sled making? Spirituality, totems, and megaliths. Like Stonehenge and whatnot. Let's unlock tanning. Since we got uh, dead animals here, uh, milestone unlock hunting and gathering knowledge plus two. Okay, cool. Give me the tanner. Give me the tanner. A place to make leather. I guess we can put that right next to the crafter's hut. That makes sense, right? And I believe there's another one. No. Okay. Guys, we're, what about? The, oh, they probably already used the skins on making skin outfits. Which means we can now make leather outfits. Which are not as warm as skins. I don't want to make any of those just yet. Although... We probably need skins for other things. Uh, so we might actually want to... How close is it to summer? Well, it's still... Hmm. Summer is actually almost finished. But everybody has plenty of, uh, outfits, so we're gonna turn that off and allow people to actually gather, uh, tanners, or... Or leather skins, rather. As soon as people actually get that tannery built. Ooh. Hunting and gathering milestone unlocked. I didn't know I could click on that. Okay, cool. Which means I'm ever closer to unlocking different uh, scenarios. We could probably do with uh, hunting something else. What have we got? Meat, raw, four raw meat, ten sticks, ten stone, three stone, uh, ten flint, three stone, bones, and raw skins. I think we're gonna need more bones. Let's go ahead and hunt another reindeer. And, uh, other. Wow, okay, yeah, it takes a lot to bring down a reindeer, but... Oh, you know what actually would be useful? If we hunted that boar. How difficult is the boar to hunt? Easy. It probably won't even attack us if you guys go after it. So go ahead. We need the knowledge. Oh my gosh! It goes so far! That's a whole herd of boar. Okay, you know what? Forget it. It's, it's too much. 
get back there and actually hunt, uh, actually start cleaning up that kill. Where did it go? Yeah, right there. We'll gain more knowledge later. Probably should have actually just uh, unlocked bone tools, and that, if that's the case. Although we'll do that once we actually have uh, the chance. Ooh, excellent! We just acquired more raw meat. And, hmm, what else can we do to get more knowledge? We could probably do with gathering more stone. So, let's get some more of that. Ooh, oh, there's a big stone deposit right over there. Yeah, definitely get more of those. And we still haven't unlocked any more, gotten any more people. Hmm. That's problematic. It is now fall. And does everybody have... Uh-oh. Why does not everybody have skins? Where are our skins? We have sk okay, No, we have seven skin outfits and five dry skins. We should have plenty. Dude, guys, why aren't you wearing your skins? It's already, it's already fall. I am a little bit concerned. I don't want... I don't want my little caveman to be freezing to death. Marin Call, I know you I know you got a lot I know you got a lot to show off. You want people to know the business, but uh that's not gonna be any help once once the winter once the winter arrives. But we do have a trader. Hello, trader. What have you got for us? You got bread? Oh my gosh, we haven't even invented bread yet. You must be from a mighty tribe across the mountains. But I don't I don't know if we have actually if if you actually have anything to give in return. Cured meat that's like long long term food storage. Tannin Isn't tannin in tea? Or is that or is that something else? Well, let's go ahead and get a couple of each. Trade value three. We will give you one dry skin. And yeah, for a bunch of food and tannin. This will give us four knowledge by killing it. And it's a big one. It's a big old sow. Vorob again. Why is it always Vorob? Oh, Vorob, you missed! Vorob, you missed! Now it's gonna go running off into... I don't know. Whatever ancient landmasses. You're gonna be chasing it all the way back to Pangea, man. Okay, well... We'll just let them take care of that, I guess. We need to gather more materials in order to uh, advance our knowledge even further, so I'm gonna put two people on that. Boar has escaped. I knew it. Vorop! I blame you! Yeah, hunt the young ones. They're easier to catch. I know that sounds bad, but it's necessary for our survival. We need to advance our knowledge. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, get that one at the back of the herd. There we go. Woo! And that's it. We got more knowledge now. Great. Let's unlock the bone tools so that we can stop screwing around with chasing things with wood. We'll actually turn their own bodies against them. Let's create some bone spears. And with those, we'll be able to kill animals even faster and advance our knowledge even further. So, that's cool. And, uh, okay, what else can we do? Oh, winter has now arrived. Population is no- Oh, yes! New humans have joined the settlement. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. That means we could put more people on some- on uh, certain jobs. So, that's... So we have four new people to work with. Working area. Okay, there's already two people on Flint. And... Let's see, where's the- where'd the stick gathering go? Are there any more sticks around? And you know what? I think I need to actually start increasing my knowledge of, uh, the world around me before I can, uh, begin- Ooh, he's got a- Ooh, look at that! Yeah, look at that, Viretti. I'm pretty sure you're- You must be jealous of Marankal. He's got that sweet new bone spear. He's like, he's 10,000 years in the future, baby. That's the new fashion, but now that winter has arrived, I think I need to increase my knowledge of this game before I can actually start uh, thriving. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll definitely uh, look into this again. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and remember, I am and will remain your favorite tribal leader. And I will see you on the next leg of our journey. Bye-bye.